For our last story about men and horses, we go to Jaipur, one of the most beautiful cities in India. It's named after the great Maharaja Jai Singh, who founded it 350 years ago. Visitors know it as the Pink City because of the color of many of its buildings. But Jaipur also has an important link with India's imperial past, the remarkable 61st Cavalry. The 61st has existed in its present form only since 1947, the year India became independent from Britain. But it has a proud military heritage that goes back centuries. Today, it's one of the very few cavalry regiments in the world that still uses horses in a combat role. The 61st consists of 500 horses and men, and here they're in full dress uniform. But the regiment isn't just for show. It's only been able to survive because it's been able to prove its usefulness. The Jaipur Lancers have played a valuable role in reconnaissance and infiltration operations during flare-ups along India's borders. They regularly patrol the Rajasthan hills on the edge of the great Indian desert, terrain much more suited to horses than to four-wheel drive vehicles. Sabres and lances may be outdated in a real shooting war, but the cavalryman is faster than a man on foot and he can fight either on horseback or on the ground. Out of dress uniform, the lancers spend most of their time learning to become expert horsemen. In some ways, life for them is more arduous than for the horses. Even new recruits learn to ride the hard way without a saddle. But the Lancers are also involved in colorful ceremonies and state occasions, so part of their training is concerned with showmanship. But don't forget to salute, fellas. Yeah! Yeah! Tent pegging is another of the Lancers' favorites. It's a way of keeping in practice for the spring and summer boar hunts. One of the most difficult riding feats, picking up flags from the ground at full gallop. And some acrobatic riding to show the new recruits just what is possible. And even he remembers to salute. One of the most popular sports, all in wrestling, with a difference. Not all sports are entirely for amusement. Work and leisure are often combined to perfect techniques that could be useful in combat situations. This cross-country obstacle course is far tougher than anything riders have to tackle at the Olympic Games. And Olympic competitors don't have to ride backwards. Finally, the saber run, with deadly accuracy. In a desert region like Rajasthan, one of the biggest problems is dust. Cavalrymen spend many hours with spit and polish, only to have their equipment covered with dust again as soon as they leave the barracks. But they accept it philosophically, after all, it's a small price to pay for being in the elite Jaipur Lancers. Oddly enough, the horses are actually encouraged to roll in the dust after a routine day on patrol. After five minutes of this, says the cavalryman, the fatigue just drains away and the horse is ready for another 20 miles. Back at the barracks, the roles of master and servant are reversed. The cavalryman has to administer to his horses every need. 
they spend many weary hours with dandy brush and curry comb, making sure their horses are clean and healthy. Manure detail, they call it in the regiment, and it's the horse's turn to take it easy. Watering and feeding are carried out with military precision. And in the Jaipur Lancers, when you take your horse to water, it does drink. The diet of horses in the 61st is no different from other horses, but the amount is strictly controlled. They get only enough for the work they do. Although in this regiment, that's quite a lot. Saddle and harness come next, and there's no substitute for elbow grease. Perhaps the most glorious action for the 61st came in 1918, when they fought alongside the British in the Palestine campaign of World War I. At Haifa, they faced a stubborn battery of Turkish field guns. But the city soon fell in what became the last successful cavalry charge in history, and there's still nothing quite like a sabre charge. The Jaipur Lancers answer the same bugle call that was heard before the gates of Haifa 60 years ago. And from our program today, it's perhaps our best example of men and horses together in perfect harmony. Okay.